This is your Honker Highlight. The St. Cloud River Bats came into Rochester needing to win every game the rest of the season and have the Honkers lose every remaining game they have in order to make the playoffs. And they kept their window open for at least one more day as they buried the Honkers 16-6 on Friday night. Rochester starter Brett Mitchell had to pitch in tough conditions in the first inning as the weather varied between drizzle and heavy rain. He gave up a home run to the first batter he faced before being touched for 10 total runs in his outing. Rochester is now 22-11 in the second half, while St. Cloud is 17-13. Brian Humphreys was the first batter of the game for St. Cloud, and he smashed the third pitch he saw off the scoreboard for a solo home run to give St. Cloud a 1-0 lead. The next two batters doubled, and Mitchell would hit a batter, walk two, and throw two wild pitches just in the first inning, as he was clearly struggling to control the ball in the wet conditions. When the inning ended and the rain had gone, the Honkers trailed 4-0. Rochester wouldn't be able to stage any sort of rally against St. Cloud starter David Dominski as he held the Hawkers to just three hits over six shutout innings. Meanwhile, Mitchell was able to keep St. Cloud from scoring again until the fifth, but struggled with his control throughout that time. The River Bats did bust open the game in the fifth inning, though, as they plated six runs to expand their lead to 10 0. They racked up five singles, a double, and added a hit batsman to the rally, as well as using a wild pitch and two Hawker errors to push across the runs. Dan Betteridge brought the biggest blow with a two-run single, while Humphreys, Matt Finelli, and Kurt Schlangen added RBI hits as well. Mitchell was lifted for Brody Tolliver during the inning. St. Cloud continued their hitting parade against Tolliver and chased him in the seventh, while scoring four more runs against him to expand their lead to 14-0. The Hawkers were able to start a small rally late, scoring one run in the eighth and pushing across five in the bottom of the ninth against Tyler Freeze, but never came close to bringing the tying run to the on-deck circle. Mitchell took the loss to fall to 1-3 and three on the year and allowed 10 runs, 9 of which were earned, in 4 and 2 thirds innings. Dominski got the win to move to 6-3 and three for the Riverbats. John Tomasini had 2 runs and 2 RBI for the Hawkers, while Corey Jones and Danny Pulfer each added 2 hits. Danny O had the best day at the plate for St. Cloud, going 4-5 for five with 2 runs and 3 RBI. The Hawkers will try again to clinch a playoff berth tonight against St. Cloud at 7.05 p.m. at Mayo Field. Brian Flynn will start for the Hawkers against Curtis Freimeyer of St. Cloud, and the Hawkers' magic number remains at one, meaning any Hawker victory or St. Cloud loss the rest of the season would clinch a playoff spot for Rochester.